Do you feel overwhelmed by the Power BI monthly updates? And probably that's not the only thing going on, right? You probably subscribe to a few different blogs, you check your Twitter feed all the time, YouTube channels, well actually YouTube channels are good, I'm, I'm glad you're on. But really, it seems overwhelming, doesn't it? There's always something going on, there's always new updates, and you can't seem to keep up. It almost feels like you're trying to climb up on a sand dune, and it doesn't work, does it? Well, my friend, I wanna take you from the land of FOMO, fear of missing out, to the land of JOMO, joy of missing out. And here's why JOMO is okay. It's all about the 80-20 rule, isn't it? Well, 20% of the content, 20% of the stuff is gonna give you the best bang for the buck. It's gonna give you the best return on your investment. That's what's gonna take you far. But the rest of the 80%, it's kind of fluff. Certainly if you're in the beginner to intermediate stage, it's really important that you focus on what matters, focus on what's at the heart of Power BI. And that is all about the data model. That's all about understanding some basic modeling concepts and being able to use the query editor as your chisel to shape that data model, bring that to life. And then it's all about the measures. Set up your relationships, but the magic is in the measures because they have the magic of define once use everywhere. Once you understand and master these things, everything else becomes easy. So again, if you're just kind of starting out, don't be overwhelmed by the monthly updates. In fact, I would recommend just unsubscribe to that and a whole bunch of other feeds right now. And the best way to learn the core concepts is by some guided learning. It doesn't have to be my training. Go out and get some training that works for you. And then the rest, let that come to you. Now, if you're still not convinced, then let me, let me put another thought in front of you, which is this. So think about all the stuff that goes on in, in the reporting and visualization side. And, and that's where a lot of action seems to be. But believe me, that's the easy part. Once you have a good model working, reporting is easy to do. So think about for every, every user that knows how to create Power BI reports, knows how to click those buttons and select a visual, right? And maybe do some fancy stuff. How many users would be there who would know how to create a Power BI model, how to author a Power BI model. Forget about that. How many users would really even understand the importance of the model? That if you don't have the model, you're gonna end up in the same data hell that you have experienced before with other tools. You're gonna end up with an army of Power BI reports, Helter Skelter, and not really solve the problem. I would bet that maybe for every thousand, gosh, I don't know, maybe for every 10,000 users who can build the report, there's gonna be one, there's gonna be one person, my friend, who's gonna really know how to build a Power BI model. And who do you think is, can, can command a bigger paycheck? I'm gonna leave you with that thought. This is your friendly neighborhood Power BI Pro, Avi Singh. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Power on, my friends.